um, lesson eight introduces ideas related to um, the recovery process and um, what happens after treatment. So in a, a perfect circumstance, the intervention would take place, treatment planning took place after the assessment, actual treatment occurred, and, and uh, maybe even detox, and a level of, a level of sobriety, sobriety has occurred, and, and the patient goes back home and begins their recovery um, in the community setting, or they have completed um, some level of treatment in the outpatient setting format. What happens after that? And, and this is where many folks kind of assume that treatment is this manic bullet, that um, that addiction is something that can be treated at the same as appendicitis. And uh, once you have uh, taken the appendix out of the person, everything's fine. Thus, after the person goes to treatment uh, for substance abuse, everything's fine, right? Well, that's, that's actually far from the case. Uh, um, helping folks gain short-term sobriety is actually not that difficult usually. Helping them find long-term sobriety is, is very difficult for, for some populations. And real recovery begins when life gets back to um, normal in terms of, uh, maybe I shouldn't say normal, but when the patient goes back home and when the family interactions begin and, and that type of thing, it's, um, it can be an, an extremely difficult time for patients. So we will be talking about um, recovery issues in this lesson mm -hmm. and um, some of the things that the patient needs to be looking for, their clients do as well, and, and their family members, and, and we as professionals.